I'm Dr. Emma Volkman, OBGYN, practicing at SSM Health Medical Group. I completed my medical school at Southern Illinois University School of Medicine, and I completed my residency at St. Louis University School of Medicine. As an obstetrician and gynecologist, I basically see kind of a whole breadth of um, issues in women's health. I can see one day I'll see a 25-year-old who's pregnant with her first baby, and 20 minutes later I can see a 65-year-old who's complaining of hot flashes, or you know, next I may see a woman who wants a hysterectomy for having really heavy periods. So I love that we see a, a whole big gamut of things. Typically, we start recommending pap smears, which is a test that looks at um, the cells of the cervix and tests for cervical cancer at age 21. But I'll see patients even younger, as young as 12, 13. Um, whenever patients start puberty and they're having issues with heavy periods or have questions about sexual health or just kind of any sort of issue, I'm more than happy to see a patient. I think it's really important for women to come see their OBGYN every single year. And the reason for that is so many things, such as cervical cancer, is very preventable if you get screened. If you come in every single year for your pelvic exam and um, get your pap smear done when it's appropriate, it's all these, a lot of these illnesses are, like I said, so preventable and it, you can't prevent it if you don't come see your doctor. I think SSM is a, is a great facility to receive medical treatment. We have a lot of new current things uh, throughout the different hospitals in SSM. For our obstetric patients, we, we have a high volume of deliveries. We have resources that are available at all of our clinics. And if you happen to be somebody who is high risk, who maybe needs a little bit extra care, we have people on site that can take care of you. And if we say, maybe you're a little too high risk for us, we have other facilities within SSM, such as St. Mary's, where you, know, you can receive exceptional health care.